Hey guys, welcome back to Ben and Brings channel. If you haven't been here before, we do tutorials, product reviews, and we have a live chat feature on our website to help you through your Broody 911s. Today's video is all about refractometers. Uh, we're just gonna do a very, very quick introduction, a quick intro into it. If you're looking for more detail, like how to calibrate your refractometer, when and really not to use it, check out our links below. We have a much more detailed video. In today's, it's quick and dirty, get you up and running. Let's check it out. All right guys, let's talk about the refractometer. Again, quick disclaimer, this is a quick and dirty video, so we're gonna be skipping over a lot of points in an effort to get you up and running as quickly as possible. First and foremost, what do you need? You need a refractometer so that you can take your measurements. You're going to need a eyedropper of some kind. We use a glass one because I don't like plastic and hot liquids. I'm afraid it might impart some of the plasticiness into the beer. Uh, and you're gonna need a towel to make sure that you can keep things clean because you're dripping stuff all over the plate on here. Another thing that's important to note, typically, if you find a refractometer, uh, get one that's ATC or automatic temperature compensation. Um, the samples are so small that they really cool off very quickly, but they tend to be a little bit more accurate when you're dealing with the hot wart. They're not as impacted by that temperature variation. All right, let's talk about some of the scales that you may encounter when you're taking a sample with your refractometer. There's really three main ones. Uh, there's bricks, which is typically used by the wine industry. There's degrees plato, which typically is used by the pros who are brewing. Uh, and then there's specific gravity, which is generally used by home brewers. If you get a refractometer and it only has, has bricks, there are calculators to help you convert it to whatever unit of measure you prefer. Same with degrees plato, same with specific gravity. Now, with home brewing being as popular as it is, they do have brewing specific refractometers. And when you get those, they will have degrees Plato or specific gravity as one of the scales in there. They usually have two, one on each side of the line. Okay, so how do we take a measurement on our refractometer? Couple real quick tips. So you've got your refractometer, you've got your eyedropper of choice, towel, and then your wart sample. Today we're using water. Uh, to do your sample, take your eyedropper, put a couple of drops on the lens, and it's important to cover it entirely. And then you close the cover over the slate of glass and take a look at it and make sure that it's evenly covered. You don't see any air bubbles because that can throw off and impact the reading itself. Uh, take the refractometer, point it towards a natural source of light. You don't really want to use fluorescent lights or anything else because it can throw off the readings. So natural light source is great. Focus the eyepiece and read where the blue line and the white line join, and that will tell you what your gravity is of whatever it is you're trying to measure. Now, make sure once you get your sample on the glass and you've taken your reading, uh, it's important during that same brew day to have that towel handy, like I mentioned earlier, and make sure you're wiping the lens clean and wiping off all of the wart. The last thing you want is for that sugary wart to dry on there, which can throw off your next couple of readings or make it kind of difficult to clean. So while you're at it through the brew day, take care of it, wipe it, keep it clean, and then it's ready to go for your next sample. All right, guys, final tip. Uh, for your refractometer to get up and running as quickly as possible. You can't use this in every single stage of your brewing process. Once there's alcohol present in your wort, or technically now beer, the readings are thrown off by your refractometer. So you're much better served to use a hydrometer at that point. There you go. <laughs> 